Hello. I thought it was time I did another video diary or vlog. Um, I haven't done one for a while. Um, so here we are. I think it's number 14 um, of 2016. Um, I don't have much to report, really. I don't know who's listening anyway. Um, I have a few fans, thanks. <laughs> and I have about 700 subscribers now, so that's pretty good. It's sort of slowly increasing. I mean, obviously I want to get up to sort of mega levels so that I can actually live on this. But um, at the moment it's like 12, 15 pounds a month. It's uh, not making my fortune just yet. But still, it's something you do, isn't it? Uh, I do this... Um, <clears throat> Probably more than I should, justified by the money. But, but anyway, uh, that's that's it, isn't it? If you if you're going to do something, then do it. I, I suppose. Um, and well, you never know. Something might come of it. Um, I still. I mean, I think this channel, for me, it's it's kind of two things. There's the gaming side of it. People can see something of the games and just you know in, enjoy them a bit. Um, some people tell me my videos send them to sleep. Well, as long as they've clicked on them, that's okay. Um, and the other side of it is my sort of documentary-ish style ones about science or something like that, or Brexit when it happened, uh, or when it was being discussed or voted about, or um, obviously tourism type things of London. I don't know if these sort of integrate into a single theme, um, but there they are, anyway. Um, and the number of subscribers sort of slowly, slowly drifts upwards. I really wanted to rocket skywards. Some people seem to get like 100,000 subscribers in their first six months or something. I, I don't know how I could do that. It's just not me. I am not the sort of person to be shouting in your face, rah, 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 stuff. <clears throat> I'm not running a TV channel here, right? Um, so, that's it. Um, so what have I got to report? The divorce is trundling on. Uh, we're both reasonable people, so there's no arguments about it. We're just waiting for the legal system to sort of do its stuff. Um, we have a degree Nissi, which means it's conditional. Um... And if we decide to go ahead, which we have to wait until November, and then we can go ahead. Um, and then at some time in the following few months, they will actually do it, presumably. Um, and that's that. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I mean, um, at my age, I would think girlfriends are going to be a bit thin on the ground, really. Um, but I will, I suppose, just get on with my life and, you know, see what happens. That's it. One thing I'm thinking of doing is going on holiday sometime this winter. Um, I would like to see the Northern Lights at least once in my life, you know. Um, so I'm thinking of going up to Norway. I considered Iceland, uh, but I decided Norway in the end, because um, you can also do a bit of whale watching. And, and not that I'm a, an amazing fan of whales or anything, but it seems like. Uh, might as well. And I could possibly go dog sledding as well, so that might be fun. Um, don't know. I've, I've never been on a holiday by myself before. Um, so in a way, that's going to be a little bit sad in a way, but uh, I think that uh, uh, it's better than not going on a holiday, <laughs> put it that way. Um, I'm kind of reluctant to keep spending the money on things, though, because um, the holiday will cost... Um, I will need a different camera because my video camera, which is recording this vlog now, is no way up to photographing the Aurora Borealis. Um, the northern lights are sort of, it's dark, it's night time, the camera won't, well, if it sees anything it'll see whitish flashes, it won't pick up the colour. It's, it's, it, has, it struggles during the day sometimes, so <laughs> at night, no chance. Um, so I've got to get an expensive, I have a Nikon D60, which I'm going to have to sell, because that one can't do movies. It's a superb camera. 
But the next model up, or one above that, maybe the D3300, can do 1080p for 20 minutes at a stretch. Um, the file size is limited to 4 gigabytes, so I think it's FAT32 or something file system, so 20 minute files basically. Um, which is fine. Um, and I can use that. Um, it's just it requires some teeth gritting to spend the money on all this stuff though, that's all. Um, I mean when I was married I had my own income and my office income, we were, we would, we were actually okay. And not, at first, not in the first few years but after we got ourselves, got our act together we were actually okay financially but now it's just me, I've got to be a bit careful. Um, I've probably got to be quite a lot careful as well because I'm not naturally a money managing type of person. Um, but I've got a job and I guess I'll keep it and maybe look for a better one um, that pays even more which paying even more would not be that tough <laughs> to be honest but anyway I also have to buy um, warm weather clothing probably for Norway I don't know I'll take what I've got and if I need extra I suppose I'll buy it there um, because if I can stand it I will make do with what I've got but English clothes are not that good because they, they expect you to have a car and they expect you to be driving around in it so winter clothing is is indoor clothing really it's not not very good um, but out there in the mountains and, and fjords it's going to be maybe well much colder than here put it that way um, minus 30 maybe I don't know maybe not so bad maybe worse I don't know um, I mean, one thing I do think about getting another camera is that I'm not really taking that many photos these days or processing them um, but I do need a DSLR to take the Aurora uh, to, to video it because I uh, a video camera to do the job would be very expensive and very specialist. And at least with a camera I can do other things too. Um, I don't want like a, a massive Sony Z1 thing or something like that. It's just not not practical. Um, an ordinary camera, well, a good DSLR camera um, at least sort of covers both camps. But when, when I'll get time to process any photos, I don't know because I'm doing videos all the time. Um, I don't have time for other things, um, including exercise. Um, I mean I should try and keep myself fitter than I do. I walk for about an hour a day minimum um, anyway, but I'm not doing formal workouts or anything like that, which I, I keep feeling that I should and it's good for me and so on, but when I get home from work in the evening, I'm tired. I get up early in the morning usually, so I don't want to do it then. Um, I mean, sometimes I'm on a late shift, and I could do it a bit then. Um, I'm on late shift next week for work, so maybe late shift means I start at 11 and finish at 8. Um, maybe I could do something in the mornings. I don't really know. But... For it to be effective, it has to be a habit. I have to do it all the time, like twice, three times a week probably. Um, I'm still trying to find a way not to do it, really. Um, and actually, since my wife has left, I'm also not quite maintaining as healthy a diet as I had before. It's actually not bad. Um, I'm typically having about one salad a day, which is good. And a salad for me is like a, a mega thing with lots of mixed leaves, cucumber, tomato, um, carrot, avocado, cashew nuts, I don't know, alfalfa shoots, all sorts of stuff. I just pile it all in, make it, make it nutritious and have obviously something with it. Um, so at least once a day I'll do something like that. Um, so I suppose I'm 
kind of healthy. Um, don't know, beyond that really, I'm just looking out for the discovery of the next ninth planet in our solar system because, okay, Pluto's been demoted, but scientists are saying they think there's another planet out there, a big one. Um, well, I suppose it's a big one because it's the the plane of the planets is not exactly lined up with the plane of the of the sun's rotation. There's a slight angle, um, and the thinking is that there's some other planet way out, maybe out in the in the Kuiper Belt. I don't know, but somewhere there's some big planet which is moving things about a bit. So we might have a new planet soon. Um, there may be lots of them out there actually. Uh, the solar system is far more complicated than it than uh, we realized when I was a child. Um, you've got the Sun, you've got the planets, you've got the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, you've got the, the dwarf planets like Pluto and indeed certain of the asteroids and certain moons count as well, or would if they were orbiting the Sun. Um, the asteroids are. Um, but there are more big objects out there. Lots and lots of them. And like a light year or so out, there's the Oort cloud of comets and ice and rubble. And, well, there's probably a load of stuff out there, planets and whatnot, all in the dark. So we're starting to explore these things now could be interesting. Okay, bye for now.